It happened again, y'all. It happened again. If I was to tell you that one of the people, one of the beautiful boss babes that I featured in Top Fails number 66 was in every sense of the phrase going off sis because I put her in a video, you would think maybe Dramus, since, you know, she was saying that opinions sell more than facts, maybe her, or you know what? Maybe it was the girl who plot twist is a Scientologist. We'll get more into that next week. Um, who was giving the most horrendous tax advice in the history of the world. You know what? If I were you, I would think that it was the girl more towards the end of the video who said that mental illness is not of God and we can just take magnesium to cure ourselves and that your mental health and your anxiety and depression is due to spooky karma ghosts following you around and essentially it's your fault, right? What if I told you that it was the girl who all I said, all I said was that she was wrong in regards to ketones, the powders, prove it products, not putting you in ketosis, not preserving muscle. That's who it was. Going off. So as y'all know, it's kind of one of my favorite things when this happens so that we can see in real time the manipulation tactics, the playing the victim, the gaslighting, the cognitive dissonance. The cognitive dissonance cranked all the way up and other types of psychological aspects of this in real time. So I personally love that. So let's go ahead and do a few quick little disclaimers before we roll that clip so that you can have a little refresher and then we'll get into a few psychological things and then we're going to break down everything that she says. Okay. Okay. And I'm really hoping that my power doesn't go out again because I just went out. Let's go ahead. And just do a few little disclaimers. I say these things constantly, but I think it's important to say them again. If you are included, if you are featured in one of my videos, if I call you out on something, if I debunk something that you're saying, that is not me being hateful. That is not me being a bully. It is not me cyber stalking you. It is not me tearing down women. You are in a multi level marketing company a network marketing company, a social selling company, a direct sales company, social retail. I don't care what you call it. It is a commercial cult. A turd by any other name would smell as stinky, not to quote Shakespeare. However, what you're experiencing right now is cognitive dissonance. And we'll get into that in a moment. You are just the example. I don't know you. I don't need to know you. This isn't about you as a person, or what you've been through or anything like that. It's about what you're saying and what you're putting forth in order to promote and sell this opportunity and these products, no matter what multi-level marketing company you're in. That's what this is about. This is about debunking, calling out this unethical behavior, and showing people an example of the thing that I'm talking about. Now, you can say all day long, well, Chelsea, just focus on the companies. Is it Monate that's recruiting people? Is it Monate posting the false income claims, the violations with the FTC, the compliance violations? Is it the company's gaslighting, fear mongering, using faith manipulation? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> but are they the ones actively coming to these vulnerable subsets of people and recruiting them and promising them the world for just a simple, starter kit, simple sign up fee. Is it the company doing that or is it the reps that are doing it? Both need to be held accountable. I do hold all of e equally, I would say, I hold them accountable. I debunk shit that the company puts out too. Again, you are just the example. You could be an amazing person. You could be the sweetest person in the world. You could also be a really shitty person. Doesn't matter. Now going further into that, if you are making a profit in a multi-level marketing company, Again, there's a difference between revenue and profit. If you are making a profit in a multi-level marketing company, without a doubt, you are taking advantage of someone below you for your own financial gain, knowingly or unknowingly. Again, doesn't matter. It's still happening. Ignorance does not equal innocence. And also, and this might seem real small to you, but we're going to go further into this in a moment, but 
I do not hunt down these people's profiles and their reels and their stuff like that. I am sent all of this stuff. I have an amazing audience. I love you so much. I have an amazing, engaging, at times hilarious and super spicy audience that records these things, uploads them to Google Drive and shares access with me. I download it. I put it in a video. I don't hunt you down. I don't know anything about you. However, what I'm posting isn't being taken out of context. It's still, you're still posting it. (sighs) If you can't handle working on the internet and being an influencer, a content creator, whatever you want to call yourself, if you can't handle that, meaning people giving you criticism, people including you in videos, people reacting to what you are putting out there publicly yourself, then you should not essentially post things publicly to the internet. Your profile doesn't have to be public. You can put it on private. You can, you can do that. And then I, I or anyone else wouldn't be able to do that. So you would be then a private citizen, kind of. All right. Now that we've said all that, so long winded, let's go ahead and let past Chelsea take it away and show you exactly what I said about this person. And you'll see by, by no means was it hateful, bullying, stalking, tearing women down. It had really nothing to do with her, just dissecting what she said. So take it away, past Chelsea. Just got done with leg day at the gym, and I feel so freaking good. You know what's super crazy? I was not consistent in the gym for two and a half years, and when I started going back um, consistently in January, um, I was able to pick up almost where I left off two and a half years prior. And today, I am lifting more than I have ever been able to lift in my life, um, despite that, because I, no matter what was going on, I continuously, consistently drink my ketones, regardless. So my muscles, like, they've been spared this entire time, and I knew we had that benefit, but I never knew just how true it was until now. Super cool. Well, that's not how anything works. That so essentially what this girl is saying is that she like she used to work out and since then she's been drinking ketones a bunch. Because she drank the ketones, her like muscles have been preserved and that she's able to lift as much as she did before. That's not how anything works, girl. What they claim with ketones is fudging crazy. I'm saying fudging because I'm trying not to use inappropriate language as much on my channel. Make the YouTube gods happy. That's not how anything works. If that actually worked, don't you think that like every single person in the world would be using that? Don't you think every athlete Olympian would be using that? Yeah, guess what? That's not how it works. Absolutely not me body shaming. This is more speaking freaking logically. I have to be careful the way I say this because I don't want to have it come off rude, but I feel like most people understand this with what they claim they do. Muscle preservation, energy, fat loss, like every, every fucking thing keeps you in ketosis for every second of your life. Don't you think that with how many of those powder packets they ingest, everyone in that company would be like a perfect specimen and the majority of them are not. You would not have an ounce of fat on your body. If ketones do what they, what you claim they do, they suppress your appetite. They make you do to your pants constantly. Aaron B's even said, she was like, no, they make you poop a lot and they give you energy. I know I say this multiple times, but you know what else does that? A pre-workout, an energy drink, fucking Adderall. Don't do all that at the same time. You will die. (laughs) Also, don't take Adderall if you are not prescribed it and if you do not have ADHD. Not a doctor, but you know. What this is a perfect example of though is cognitive dissonance. So I want to go over cognitive dissonance and a few other things so that we can really be able to point out and understand and dissect even more what she's saying in her Instagram stories that she went off on me and then also her comments on that video as well. So also, please do not go hunt down any of these, not hunt down, but please don't seek out anyone that I include in my videos. If you want to say something about it, keep it in my comment section, please. 
That's not me fishing for engagement. I don't need that. I don't need any more of it, really. I mean, yes, I need it, but I don't need more of it. Please do not go fish them out. Please do not go find them and harass them. Do not DM them. Do not engage with them. That's not going to help. Now, if you see something where someone is clearly not in compliance with their own MLM or with anything ever, be nice and be like, hey, this isn't true. This is not accurate. Per this, this, whatever. Always source what you're saying and always give them a place where they can go to to find said information. Please start a conversation, not a fire. Continuing, let's talk about cognitive dissonance because this is what this person and many other people in MLMs are experiencing. All right, now cognitive dissonance is the state of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude change. Now, what causes cognitive dissonance? Forced compliance behavior, acting against one's own beliefs, making decisions, feeling distressed at the loss of a second alternative when we choose the first alternative. So making a decision, choosing something and being like, oh, wait, I I probably should have done that. And then you're like at battle with yourself and arguing with yourself and going back and forth. This one is the one that we experience the most though, or they experience when talking about um, anti-MLM and MLM stuff. Uh, exposure to new information, contradicting beliefs, and new information. You believe one thing, I present you with facts and studies and incredible information. And then you're like, wait, what? Like I was believing this, but now you're showing me this, but that can't be true and all that, okay? And then number four, effort, putting a great amount of effort into achieving something, then realizing that the accomplishment was not really that special or view it negatively, then it can cause serious cognitive dissonance. Also, another disclaimer, sorry. I don't know what the Air Force is doing today, but they are, in every sense of the phrase, going off sis, okay? They are going off. They are doing whatever the hell they're doing over there. There's an air show this weekend, so they're fluttering all around, I guess. Like, it's Thursday. Why y'all gotta practice today? Why can't you practice tomorrow when I'm not doing shit? (sighs) All right, now signs of cognitive dissonance. And of course, I'll have all of my sources and all this stuff linked down below. I really like these types of like diagrams and illustrations and examples. I just feel like it it helps me understand stuff better. And a lot of y'all have said that it really helps you understand things better too. So signs of cognitive dissonance, feeling mental or emotional distress without any clear reason, or rather you don't understand the reason, (laughs) feeling discomfort or compelled while making a decision facts versus belief, feeling confused and lacking clarity, basically the same thing as the second one, feeling embarrassed or ashamed. That happens a lot. Also, it's okay to be wrong. We need to like (laughs) make it, it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to change your mind. If I have a conversation with someone and I'm like firm on a belief and I'm like, but then they present more information and I'm like, oh my God, you're right. That's okay. It's okay to change, to change your mind, to change your belief system, to change even little things. Doesn't have to be like what God you believe in. All hail the flip flying spaghetti monster. May his tentacles touch you. Raw man. Okay. Uh being mistakenly identified as a hypocrite by others. Again, that goes along with like being ashamed and being feeling embarrassed. Experiencing inner conflicts and contradictions while deciding on a debatable topic. So while having a debate or a conversation. Now, just a few more things that I want to go over. I know, put this shit on one and a half speed. All right, now let's go over fallacies. So a fallacy is a mistaken belief, especially based on unsound argument. Y'all heard me say many times over the past two years or year and a half, this is not a difference in opinion. This is a difference in reality. You can't argue facts. You can't. You can you cannot. You cannot. The earth is round. Well, I think it's flat. Agree to disagree. It's just my opinion. No. <laughs> that's not a difference in opinion. That's a difference in reality. Y'all have heard me say that many times. Um now, common logical fallacies, one that I get all the time is ad hominems. Y'all most of you know all of these, but attacking the person making the argument rather than actually even taking part in the argument itself. I receive these all the time and we're about to see it as well. Essentially, it's trying to invalidate what the person is saying 
not only to others, but also to yourself. So for instance, trying to make yourself feel better and discredit them and saying like, oh, well, you're ugly or you're poor or you're jealous, you're a hater, you're uneducated. So I'm not going to listen to what you have to say. So what you're saying is invalid. So clearly you're a liar. Essentially just insulting someone. And it's like, great, cool. That's awesome. I'm glad you feel that way about me. Can we please get back to the actual argument itself? Many times when that happens, I personally know that, all right, time to stop. Time to stop the conversation. They aren't willing to have a conversation. Uh, Then the straw man fallacy. We talk about this one a lot too. We see it a lot, (laughs) a lot. So arguing against an oversimplified or otherwise distorted version of your opponent's arguments. Y'all know my absolute favorite, I'm being sarcastic, I fudging hate this one. My favorite argument, blank is a pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are illegal. Cool. You're right. That's not the conversation we're having. That is a pyramid scheme. The argument you're having over there doesn't have, I mean, sure is kind of related, but I'm talking about this company. I know pyramid schemes are illegal. And then going further, and of course, the argument of, well, nine to fives are a pyramid scheme. No, Bethel, they are not. They are not a pyramid scheme. And also, if they were, then you just admitted that your multi level marketing company that you're a part of is also a pyramid scheme because they have a corporate side to it. They are a corporate company. So either way, you're agreeing with me. (laughs) You just don't know it. Oh, Lord. That one's really frustrating for me, but it's okay. It's just people who are horrible at debating or even holding a conversation in general. Uh, And then slippery slope claiming that a single event will inevitably give rise to a chain of future events. A good example of this is, oh, well, if we legalize marijuana or decriminalize it or whatever, then XYZ will happen. And XYZ is, well, then they're legalized every, every drug and then crime will be up. And it's like, well, not really. If you're decriminalizing it and making it legal, then it, there won't be crimes committed regarding that because it's going to be legal. Anyways, that's a conversation for a different channel to take hold of. Um, so those are just some great examples of that. Um, another one, last little tidbit that I want to go over real quickly is a red herring. Okay. You're going to see this a lot. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but it's fine. It feels right. So you're going to see this a lot in, in this video in what this girl's doing. So a red herring, we're not talking about a stinky dried up fish that becomes red. As Bailey Sarian would say, nay, nay, nay. That's all we're talking about. We're talking about something, something that is presented to mislead or distract. For instance, I'm having this conversation over here. I'm showing these facts and you're just going to bring over this and try to distract people. And it's like, no, let's stick to that. Like what, what you're talking about could be true and could be valid or it could not be. But what we're talking about over here is still true. Those two things don't, don't belong in the same conversation. So thanks. That's the end of Psychology Hour with Chelsea. Uh, now, uh, now we're going to break down her everything, honestly, but break down her, um, Instagram stories that I was tagged in. So, um, this first one, it's a screenshot of me reacting to her video. And she said, here's some education on ketones and muscle mass preservation. Don't worry. We'll get to that link. We'll break it down. It's completely invalid. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Learn something instead of trying to hurt people. I'm not trying to hurt people. I'm educating and I am providing entertainment. That's what this is. Okay. Uh, Stop cyberbullying. Ma'am, if you think this is cyberbullying, you've lived a very privileged life. This is not cyberbullying. And watch, because I said the phrase, you've lived a privileged life if you think this is cyberbullying. That's just a saying. I don't know anything about your life and I don't want to. I literally don't care. I want you to do well. Sure, I don't need to be in an MLM, but I don't know anything about her life. And then watch, she's going to be like, I haven't lived a privileged life. All right. So this adorable little YouTuber girl, thanks for calling me adorable. I know I am. Um, Little YouTuber girl, I'm 31. Okay. I'm a grown ass adult. I'm a third of the way through my life. I am not a little girl. But again, trying to invalidate 
Um, they're just another ad hominem. You can say like, Chelsea, that's not an insult, but it's like when someone calls you sweetie in an argument and they're like, oh, sweetie, bitch, don't ca- fucking call me sweetie. It's, it's belittling is what it is. However, somehow discovered my page and saved my stories about how I'm doing amazing with my health after struggling with being suicidal and inactive for two years and tried to flip my story into a completely other narrative that she actually is completely uneducated in. Say the word completely one more time. Okay. First of all, longest sentence in the world. Like this is, that's, stop it. That's way too long. Calm down. Second, I, I don't know about your personal life. That's not what this is about. I don't care about your personal life. And I don't mean that in a, in, in a mean way. I mean that in a, that's irrelevant to the conversation that we are having. Okay. Another aspect of this, and I know I'm like breaking down every three words, but I think it's important. So discovered my page and saved my stories. So not only is, in my opinion, is she trying to phrase this as I am just some little girl on YouTube who is uneducated, obsessed with her. And it's like taking low hits and low blows and taking everything out of context. I don't go and hunt these people down and screen record. I don't do that. I don't need to do that. Again, I have a great, amazing audience who typically provides a lot of this information for me. I don't know you. I'm very sorry that you've been struggling for the past two years. I hope you do better. I hope you are doing better. If me correcting you and telling you that you are wrong about prove it ketones, preserving your muscle, and doing anything other than essentially being a pre workout, anything with B vitamins is gonna give you energy, essentially. So if me telling you that you're wrong about that, you see that as bullying, girl, please get off the internet for your own health and wellness and mind, please get off the internet because that is, that's very, very like, sorry, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but that's very sad. And I want you to be safe and I want you to be okay. Okay. And tried to flip my story into a completely other, other narrative that she's actually completely uneducated in. No, I'm not. I'm not just because you are in an MLM that sells a product doesn't mean that you are very educated in it. No, it doesn't. It means that you sell it. That's all that means. And you could be very educated on it. But keep in mind, I'm going to debunk everything that she said. So I also did not take everything and flip it. I took that clip that was sent to me and reacted to it and said that what she said was wrong. That's it. I didn't twist anything. Didn't necessarily take anything out of context. So there we go. Um, No background in health or ketogenic science whatsoever. Do you have that? I don't know if she does. I don't know her. Again, I don't know. But again, what she said was wrong. It was wrong. And it was also misleading. So there we go. Good God. Just to drive traffic to her YouTube channel for other people, all caps, to buy from her many affiliate links and make money off of them after saying, I'm a scammer. Pretty sure I didn't say that she was a scammer. However, we can refer back to that clip. Pretty sure I didn't. Um, <laughs> but I hardly make any money off of affiliate links. I don't need to put her in a video to make money. I don't need to do that. I make money off of views, watch time, and engagement. Usually, mainly views and watch time. Affiliate links and affiliate marketing, especially if they are disclosed correctly, is not scamming anyone. I have all that shit disclosed correctly. It's, that's not scamming anyone. You can buy it. You don't have to. Whatever. It supports me. Love that. If you don't want to, don't. That's okay. That's fine. 
mean? You don't have to do that. And yet I'm a scammer for just doing affiliate marketing. They're two completely different things. I'm not recruiting anyone. I'm not putting false information out there. If you want to buy through a link, go for it. If you don't want to, cool. Oh, well. Um, All right. And then it makes a lot of sense. No, ma'am, nothing you said makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Bless your heart. I am CC Suarez. You're a real gem. I am. Thank you. I hope being bitter and lonely pays well. (laughs) I wouldn't know about that because I'm not bitter and I'm not lonely. I am spicy and happy and very loved though. Again, ad hominem. I love that word, ad hominem. Uh, Yeah, so just another great example of straw man, ad hominem, logical fallacy, red herring, all of that in there. That's why I wanted to go over that with you first before reading all of this. Um, So buckle up now because shit's about to get weird. Another thing, Chelsea Suarez, drinking my ketones right now. I'm actually getting in my car to film this just so I can piss my accountant off since that's what y'all think. Um, Since what is what we think? Why are you in your car? (laughs) It doesn't make any sense. Does she think she can write? You can't just go sit in your car and then write it off. It's, it's, It's mileage and gas and maintenance and you have to either do one or the other or do the standard deduction. Yet another fallacy. Sorry, let's continue. I hope to God that there is never a fucking day in your life where you feel like- Trigger warning. I forgot to tell you. Trigger warning. Um, unaliving yourself. I don't know. Domestic violence, depression, everything. Okay, everything. Everyone around you would be better off without you. I hope to God that you don't ever have a family member try to take their life in front of you. I hope to God that you don't feel like you are such a shit human being that you're fucking ruining your own child just by existing. Okay? I pray that for you. I wouldn't wish that on anybody because it is so fucking catastrophically lonely, but at the same time, part of me doesn't feel like it's as lonely as you feel right now. And I hope that one day the void that you feel. Now you might be like feeling how I was feeling yesterday when I watched this and I was just like, what, what is she talking about? Exactly. That's how I felt. I, what? (laughs) I I had no idea what she was talking about. Thanks. I don't ever want to feel like that either. And if you have, which it sounds like she has, that's awful. I'm so sorry that you felt like that. No one should feel like that, girl. However, um, red herring. Another example of a red herring. Followed up with, little sprinkled with, um, sprinkled with an ad hominem. So, and then also playing the victim too. Still. Your mental health has nothing to do with the clip that I showed in that video. But when you're in a multi-level marketing company, this is the type of rationale that we're talking about. Like this, this thought process is exactly what they, they, overgeneralization, I know, exactly what is just bread there inside that is compelling you to tear other women down that decided enough is enough I want more in my life and I'm gonna go get mine I hope that that void closes and that you can find sincere fulfillment in the shit that you decide to pursue because this ain't it sis hurting other people in order to obtain your own success, mm, that's failure. I'll pray for you. That's rich coming from a six-figure earner and prove it. How do you go from telling me that you hope I never want to kill myself to then tell me that I have a void in my heart, that, that, that I'm lonely, and that you, girl, you don't know me just like I don't know you. I'm very fulfilled. I'm very happy. I'm not lonely. 
I feel very, like very happy and fulfilled with what I do, with my YouTube channel, with my content, with my podcast, with my friends, with my family, with my beautiful, amazing, so supportive, just best friend of a husband. And with my dog too. He do best. But yeah, I'm very, very, very fulfilled. And I do help a lot of people. And I love it. You know what? Let's prove Katie wrong. In the comments below, if I helped you get out of a multi-level marketing company, a commercial cult, pyramid scheme, a cult, a religious cult, anything, if I've helped you in some way, let me know down below. Let her know. Let them know. Um, so this is just another example of, again, straw man and then also um, the ad hominems. Just the the insults of trying to invalidate me and call me a bully and all that. So, you know. I'll pray for you. I also want to throw in here, just to toot my own horn, because I'm proud of myself. Um, first of all, nothing that anybody tries to say about me is ever going to be worse than the things that I have said to my fucking self. Okay, now that that's out of the way. That's so, so, so sad. I get it, but that's so sad. I'm not saying she's sad. I'm saying what she just said is sad. There's a difference. Like I say in my videos a lot of the time, I'm not calling you dumb or stupid. I'm saying what you're saying is dumb and stupid and mostly incorrect. I'm unfuckwithable. And the last time a bitch tried to say, oh, she's just a poser. Oh, she's not a good leader. Oh, she's not doing this. She can't achieve that. Blah, blah, blah. And tried to trash me to. Okay. She said the last time someone tried to say this, insinuating that I said that. I did not say that <laughs> about her. So it sounds like she is. I don't want to say projecting because a lot of people say that and I it's I feel like it's lost its meaning, but she's got something else going on and it doesn't really seem to have much to do with me, but I didn't say you're a bad leader. I didn't say you can't do this. I didn't, I didn't say any of that. I said that the statements you were making were misleading and false and quote, that's not how any of this works. <laughs> that's what, that's what I said. Me to hundreds of other people. I became a six-figure earner, baby. That's all I wanted to say. Have a good day. It's also weird how she just was like, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good day. And like showed her Mercedes. Cool. You have a Mercedes. That's awesome. Who cares? My comment still stands of what you were saying is false. Now let's talk about that a little bit further, shall we? Um, also, she blocked me after this. Obviously. Yeah. She uh, she blocked me after that, and someone who was also in Prove It DM'd me and was like, "You blocked her." Dot dot dot. If you um, if she blocked you, you wouldn't even be able to search for her. And I was like, "You're wrong. You're wrong." I went into the DMs and I just clicked on her name, and that's what I screenshotted. Like, don't don't come for me with your false bullshit. All right, let me just read this one real quick because this was from, I don't know, someone in her downline, someone in her organization, maybe. I have no idea, but seems like it. So this comment on that same video says, so I'm just wondering, do you make it your purpose to cyber bully those who are struggling with mental health? Because if you took two seconds to look up the person you're talking shit about, you would see that this person truly struggles with just getting through her day. PTSD, bipolar, suicidal. She's very open about it on her platforms. You took the time to go look at her stories and decided that it would be okay to randomly cyber bully and try to humiliate this person. No, that's not what happened at all. But I believe that you believe that's true. Bravo, way to go on being part of the hateful beach club who likes to shame other women rather than build them up. I'm not shaming you for having mental health issues, but I sure as fuck will shame you for being in an MLM if you are spreading false information. Guess what is the number one reason why people get out of MLMs? Something happens, they're called out, or they are talked down to by their upline. Something happens, 
And then they feel shameful. They feel embarrassed. They're experiencing cognitive dissonance. And then they get out. (sighs) I sure hope that you don't pick on the wrong person to bully who is in a struggle of schmooish mital thoughts and your bullying doesn't send them over the edge because I would think that may come back to haunt you. Do better, be better. You can't, you can hate MLMs all you want. That's no issue. Although I'm not quite sure the difference of what you're doing. That's because you're an uneducated idiot. Yes, because you're brainwashed. That's why you don't understand the difference. I'm not recruiting anyone to a false opportunity. If you want to use my code, Chelsea Suarez at checkout for some Fanola hair care products, go for it. Ooh, shaken. Then go for it. Then I'll get, what, 15% off, something like that. Great. If you don't want to, that's cool too. That's it. Completely different. (sighs) Calm down, Chelsea. Finding other women to attack and talk bad about so that you can make a living. Okay, better than recruiting them and making money off of them losing money. But okay, the people you are calling out and making your own living off of bullying have stories. They have lives. Some of them may even have severe traumas. Cool. I don't care. Everyone does. Everyone has their own story. Everyone has their own trauma. I'm not talking about that. You're no better than the middle school bully who ends up causing kids to take their own lives. Grow up. Such a negative vibe to belittle, make fun of, talk bad about other people, especially other women, especially ones who have mental disorders. Tell me you're in a commercial cult without telling me. Sylvia, one, suck a dick. Two, I really hope that you get out of your multi-level marketing company and I really hope that you can see, sure, I'm a bitch, I'm a bully, whatever. The facts are still facts. If you are in an MLM, you are taking advantage of someone. I'm calling that out. Is John Oliver, who has called out multi-level marketing companies, is he a bully and belittling women? No. What about Lula Rich? Is that documentary belittling and hurting women? No, it's not. So I I don't know what what you want. Um, Also, trying to silence someone and essentially fearmonger them into silence out of the fear of, oh my gosh, I said this and then you unalived yourself. I'm not responsible. And no one's words are responsible for someone unaliving themselves. How dare you wish that on anyone or even put that out into the universe? That's disgusting. These are the types of people that we're dealing with here. And it's absolutely unacceptable. Imagine that because I made a joke here or there, which mostly my jokes are self-deprecating or making fun of like something they say. I'm not making fun of them. I'm making fun of what they say. Like the girl in the last video, we're just debunking them. Like the girl in the last video saying that our trauma and our mental illness is because of our past trauma and it's like demons following us around. So I made fun of that. And I was like, oh my God, there's spooky karma ghosts coming to get us and causing us to be depressed. That's hilarious. That's hilarious to picture. And it's also ridiculous. So yes, I'm going to make fun of that. These people sound so boring. Jesus Christ. All right. Sorry. I get, whenever I do these types of videos, I get a little bit heated. It's completely understandable. Whatever. (sighs) Let's do this one now. All right. So Katie said, Oh, thanks so much for sharing my testimony. I didn't share your testimony. I shared misinformation that you said in a, in a video that someone sent me. I'm so sorry that you're not educated and you think you know what you're talking about, but you don't know what you don't know. Clearly, I don't know what I don't know, but what I do know is that what you said about ketones is false. So that's good. Uh, my story is incredible. Cool. I don't care about your story. That's not what this is about. And I'm so proud of myself and my accomplishments in both network marketing and going from a high school dropout to a six-figure earner. Cool. Good for you. That's not what it was about. Again, completely, completely different argument. It's a straw man fallacy like we've talked about before. And also from my product and how much it helps me mentally and physically. Baby girl, you could just take a pre-workout. Same thing. You even left my handle on the video. You present yourself as a public figure. So yes, I did. So that everyone can find me. Also, you're commenting on this. And see more of my story than what you decide to show and pick apart here. Cool. 
I don't know you, so I'm unsure what made you feel compelled to try and knock me down. Not knocking you down, just pointing out something false that you are saying. Absolutely insane. That makes me feel sad for you. You don't need to feel bad for me. My life's great and I'm very happy. I hope you recover soon. Recover from what? I'm fine. Because that sounds awfully lonely. I'm not lonely. <laughs> I'm really not. Uh, P.S. Olaplex is amazing for bleach damage. First of all, bitch. <laughs> I even said in that video, I was like, don't tell the Monet girls. So I'm thinking what this actually is. Is um, I, I'm pretty sure it's from when I, I cut my own hair. Because I was doing like a certain... I was doing like a certain hairstyle and I cut it down here. So I'm pretty sure it's technically new growth because I like shaved that shit because I had to for something. From when, I mean, it would make sense because it, it's long enough to wear, not that I need to explain this, but from Halloween, I had to like shave this shit for one of the, for one of the bald cop looks I did. Tricks on you, girl. I was dressing up as the devil, which is what you see me as clearly. Smiley face, take care. God bless you. My response. Katie, you're in a cult, short and sweet. And she said, Chelsea, you're in a state of delusion, which is hilarious considering what we're talking about. Um, I'm sorry something happened to you that made you hate MLMs. Nothing happened to me to make me hate MLMs. This is another ad hominem and them them trying to discredit the person's argument of, oh, well, you just had a bad experience. You just had something bad happen to you. You just blank, blank, blank. That is why you hate MLMs. That's why you're talking about this. That's the only way that would make sense to them. And then I come out guns a blazing and I'm like, I was never in an MLM. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, which I technically was. I joined three and then quit all of them within um, two days of joining because some wasn't right. Anyways, um, but what you're doing here is honestly just a reflection about how you feel about yourself. Again, ad hominem. No, I love myself. I love women a little bit too much, about 60-40. And <laughs> that's a bye joke. Um, but ugh, that's so it's infuriating because that's not true, Katie. I love women. One of the many reasons why I make this content to make sure that women are not being taken advantage of by multi-level marketing companies. Continuing. Uh, it's a reflection of how you feel about yourself. I mean, my content's hilarious and great, so maybe I think I'm hilarious and great. <sighs> and not about any of the women you're picking out of a crowd to hate on. Okay. There's a really amazing book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. You should really check it out. I've read it. That book sucks. <laughs> Anyone in sales, typically, has read that book. Just like the You're a Badass book. You're a badass at making money. And all this other, like, ugh. If you want to read a really good sales book, read uh, Who Moved My Cheese and the, um, what is it? The something, how, how to win friends and influence people. That's a good one. That's like an OG. And then my personal favorite, The Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belford. That one is like one of the best sales books ever. I'm, I'm forgetting one. I know I am, but those ones are really good. So if you want any good sales books, those are really good ones. Um, that book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, that one sucks. That one sucks. Get out of your own head. Okay. You should really check it out. No, thank you. I already have. It'll help you overcome how much you care about what others are doing around you and instead focus on you. Ad hominem. Again. There's enough success for you too. I am successful. Thank you. Regardless of what lane you go with, no one is hurting you. You're hurting yourself. No one is hurting you. You're hurting yourself. I don't even know what that means. I am assuming it means the like no one's stopping you. You're stopping yourself from your full potential. But no, I'm I'm doing great. Thank you. P.S. This is how it works for muscle preservation. 
So the article that she wanted us to go to is this one from the National Library of Medicine. Ooh, I just got the teals. And it's all about how very low carbohydrate diets relate to the preservation of muscle mass. It's about how the keto diet can preserve muscle, not how ingesting ketone supplements help with that. So her entire argument regarding that specifically is invalid. Let's continue. DC had really, really, really great points and was so, whew, so well-spoken. I got a, I got a brain boner for sure. It's just like so assertive, so matter of fact, like beautiful. Um, hi, Katie. I think this shows a level of ethics to allow people to see where the video stems from so that we can form our own conclusions and gain more context about individuals within the MLM industry. It's also just because I'm too lazy to crop it out. <laughs> and I don't care. I'm not going to blur your face. I'm not going to. Sometimes I still will, but not going to blur your face, not going to crop out your name. Again, sometimes I still will, but you put it out there on the internet. There's consequences to doing that and saying dumb shit on the internet. So the pro MLM camp and people in the anti MLM camp can coexist. You're right. We can. We do. There are a lot of people who are pro MLM or anywhere on that or anywhere between anti and pro who love my content and who I don't have a problem with. Um, and no one is here condoning bullying anyone at any time or any place. You are correct. I think you might be missing the point behind Chelsea's, behind Chelsea's mission to share manipulation tactics, the brokenness of MLM business model that lends itself to taking advantage of people at the bottom of downlines, the income, health, and structure function claims that are in violation with the FTC that individual members continue to share in the context of selling a product and selling a job to others. As a reminder, you are in violation of the FTC and are in breach of the contract that you signed with Prove It for making structure function claims about ketones impact on your muscles. Whether the company that you contract with enforces their own guidelines is up to them, but I do want to reiterate that what you say on the internet matters. What you say in direct violation of the contract you signed with Prove It matters. Manipulating any audience with information that you are not allowed to share on the with the intent to make money off of a customer's decision is wrong. You don't say. Whether you are pro MLM or anti MLM, at the very least, follow the guidelines and rules set forth by the company that you signed up with and that the FTC directs companies to follow in the MLM industry. Now, again, Katie missed the point because she said respectfully, I know what my compliance is and I'm in breach of nothing. Yeah, you are. Compliance has actually coached me and our community on what we can and cannot say on the FTC's set guidelines for our company. I'm allowed to say that I'm a six-figure earner because it's true, but not my dollar amount, and I cannot lead others to believe that they can also do that with me, blah, blah. Um, they will absolutely be one too. Okay, she gets that point. Great, but that's not what the person above her was just saying. They were saying specifically making structure function claims about ketones impacts on your muscles. Katie, you're missing the point. Why am I surprised? I'm not. Um, okay. Ba, 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 ba. I have my income disclosure on my social medias where this claim is, and it never says anything like join my team. You can be a six figure earner too. It's 100% based on the efforts of the individual. And had she ever read any single one of my posts, she would know how highly I hold my integrity. I don't know you. I don't want to. I didn't go look at your profile because I didn't screen record it. Someone else did. They sent it to me. I feature it on my channel. That's how it works. I'm not hunting you down and being reckless. 
Hush. As far as muscle sparing benefits, this is a benefit that is widely talked about as one, it's backed by science. So we can actually prove, so we actually have proof as listed above, she's talking about the link. That link is about the keto diet, not ketone supplements. Again. Two, it's listed as a benefit on our website and our packaging. There has never been a time where I've claimed that it is treated or cured, and I'm also careful with my words when I'm telling people about my story and integrating it into and integrating my products. That's weird. Which again, she would have known if she actually read my posts. I don't need to. But the fact is that she didn't. She took videos of me in a specific spot on my stories with absolutely no prefacing, prefacing, however you want to pronounce that. Put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. She just wanted people to see without permission. I don't need your permission, baby. Post it to the internet. It's no longer yours. Goodbye. Also, you present yourself as a public figure. Thanks. And tried to spin a narrative that isn't close to the truth. I didn't spin a narrative, Katie. I simply showed what you said about muscle preservation and said that you're wrong. What is spinning where? Then tried to tell me I'm in a cult. You are. Slamming the thing that I absolutely love. Yuck. That's not kindness. That's not awareness. Yes, it is. I don't, I don't have to be kind. I'm one person that I hate when people sugarcoat things because I feel like it just is not helpful. It's not helpful at all. I'm not going to sugarcoat something for you. I'm not going to baby you. I'm not going to hold your hand. I'm going to tell you what's what. I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you what's what, and that's it. If you can't handle the black and white truth that what you're saying is false, and you're going to spin it like this and make it a huge deal when, baby, it's not that deep, then get off of the internet. If your mental health is this, and this is, again, I'm not being sassy. I'm not being spicy. This is black and white. If your mental health is so fragile that someone saying, and I know I've said this seven times in this video, someone saying what you are saying in your Instagram story is false. If that is going to shatter your mental health and make you, I don't want to say spiral, but make you go off like this, get off the internet. Like that. I know I had a little sass at the end there, but damn. Oof. Okay. This is straight hateful. Who's straight? Not me. Um, this is straight hateful for some weird MLM vendetta that I can't begin to wrap my head around. That's because you are experiencing cognitive, not cognitive dissonance, because you are experiencing undue influence because you're in an echo chamber. That's why. I've been a part of a company that does not have integrity, makes awful false claims in the name of a sale and from actual experience between those two worlds, this didn't hit the mark. What does that even mean? She has absolutely no idea who I am. You're right. I don't. That's the point. It's not about you. You are an example. It's about what you're saying. Ugh. <sighs> what I'm about or any of the latter. Where is the latter? It's not ladder. It's latter. Uh, she finds negative things to say at every corner for her own personal gain. No. I was pretty tame in that video. I mean, I got a little bit spicy when I was like, I was a little bit more passionate in that video because I hadn't filmed in like a week and a half. But just because you think it's negative, I listen, I could argue this all day long, but I'll just keep going. Um, is she not dragging others down in order to drive views and make money? No. It's a double standard if I ever saw one. No, it's not at all. So let's learn what a medical claim is. And an income claim actually is before trying to come at people who have literally changed their entire life in a positive way. It doesn't matter if you change your life in a bit. Everything's fine, Chelsea. Where the fuck is my babe? <laughs> uh, do you know? Do I know of gross people in the space? Yep. Do I condone it? Nope. But I myself am not one of those people. I see a girl here that does nothing more than draw negative attention to others instead of sharing her own story. I've shared 
like excerpt, excerpts from my personal life many times. Picking people apart for money is gross. Recruiting people into a false opportunity is gross. Not picking people apart. I am debunking what you say and the information that you present. If you got a dumbass hat on, I'm going to talk about your dumb hat too, but that's it, boo. Especially when there aren't any facts regarding my story that points to truly being in breach. I guess she means of like compliance guidelines. We have a saying, protect the house. And we take that seriously. Have a great day. Girl, that last, those last two sentences, we have a saying, protect this house, protect the house, whatever. And we take that seriously. I got a saying too. Actually, it's from the My Favorite Murder podcast. You're in a cult, call your dad. Watch, then she's going to come back and be like, my dad's dead. Stop. <laughs> Jesus, it's just a saying. Okay, and then DC came back. Um, Katie, a company has to jump through specific FDA hoops to make these claims about structure and function, meaning the function of the product, what the product actually does to make those like very definite, very definite absolute claims instead of saying things like this can promote blah 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 and instead of that saying this does this okay that's true regardless of whether the claims are true or not as far as i can tell from the prove it website they haven't jumped through those hoops which includes scientific validation until those boxes are checked no one should be making those claims are your claims valid maybe maybe not i don't know but neither do you I, I listen, DC, I love you so much. And to claim otherwise is both deceptive and not compliant. Luckily for you, your claims seem pretty susceptible to scientific inquiry. Although the paper you linked doesn't investigate exo exogenous, exogenous. Listen, I don't know how to say that word. Ketones, basically ketone supplements. The study actually tests low carb diets, which doesn't square with prove it eating any eat anything and still be lean sales pitch nevertheless i look forward to the scientific study investigating whether ketone supplements arrest muscular atrophy i will read it with an open mind okay then katie again said again you're out of your element and trying to make a point that you do, you don't have when it comes to your claims when it comes to saying six-figure earner, there's no actual income claim. Katie, no one's talking about that. We're talking about the claims that you are making regarding the product. Thank you. Straw man fallacy right here, folks. Ugh. This is a very broad range of income. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, no one fucking cares, girl. Also, also, that's not your profit. No, you're not making six figures profit. You are not tell you that right now. I'll tell you what. No, you're not. Um, you cannot just coax someone in that regard, uh, blah, 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 but you can lead by example and demonstrate when it's possible if you work hard, not to mention I constantly talk about the level of difficulty it took. Katie, we don't care about that. No one, and I mean no one, is talking about income claims or you specifically making income claims. And then she said, also, this is from Dr. J. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. Also, this is from Dr. Jacob Wilson, who directly uses Keith Prove It ketones and tests them at ASPI in Tampa, Florida with Dr. Ryan Lowry. He talks about the benefits of ketone supplements on muscle mass here. So I went to that website. Um, also, guess what? Guess what ASPI is? Guess what? Do you know? Applied Science and Performance Institute. Now, Chelsea, that sounds fancy. That sounds like a fancy lab. It's a fucking gym. It's a gym. It's a gym. That's all it is. It's a gym. And they, you know, take like your like body mass index and your measurements and, you know, can provide supplements for you and shit like that. In that video, and I will have all of this linked below, in that video, you can even go watch it. What he's saying, some of it doesn't really make fucking sense, 
But then he also says that it's like to use it as a pre-workout. And that's it. Now, I have talked to five personal trainers, certified personal trainers and dietitians, some of them being both. <sighs> I confirmed with all of them that prove it ketone supplements, ketos, keto supplements, ketone supplements in general, do not do that. What And one of them even said what she's probably experiencing is a placebo effect or, you know, that B vitamin just like with any supplement that has B vitamins in it that will give you more energy, you know, like a pre-workout. Y'all, guys, I have so much more energy. I can lift so much more. I can do so much more when my pre kicks in. Also, it's very interesting that in her Instagram story, she was like, oh, after 70 days of consistently going back to the gym, I'm doing more than I ever have. Yeah, because you you took off two years, whatever. Now you've gone back to the gym for two months. Yes, you're going to be able to, to lift more if you keep doing it. It has nothing to do with the keto, the ketones. So that's wrong. It doesn't put you in ketosis. That's what we've talked about so many times. It does not put you in ketosis. And that's one of the main things that they share. It puts you in ketosis. That's the thing is that Sure, it'll give you more focus, just like other supplements, just like a pre-workout, but it's not going to preserve your muscle at all. Now, I also looked up a bunch of different things regarding um, if keto supplements put you in ketosis, or rather put your body in a state of ketosis without doing the keto diet. Now, if you are in a natural state of ketosis and you are also taking these supplements or, you know, using it as a pre-workout, and if you're using it as a pre-workout, cool, awesome, great. But the keto supplements, that is what we're talking about. Without already being in a state of ketosis, without already your body naturally doing that, it's not going to do anything for you other than give you more energy, get you a little bit more focused. That's it. So, Sorry about it. Sorry to burst your bubble. There is no, no evidence, scientific scientific evidence that these supplements put you in a state of ketosis. Also, they do suppress your appetite. So, okay, they could, could, protective language, they could help you lose weight. Oh, I will post all of those links down below from pretty credible um, sites and publications essentially shitting on this and debunking it. So there you go. So it's very, it's, it's important to understand the whole picture, not the selective wording and under then, and not really feed into these half truths. If it's a half truth, it's a whole ass lie. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I needed to go over. <sighs> so I don't think there's anything else that I needed to go over, but I hope you enjoyed this video. My God. But I hope you enjoyed this video and all of the fucking Air Force sounds in the background. I can't stand it. But please remember, be nice to people. It's okay to take a step back from the internet if it is hurting you. But also remember, if you try to come at me and tell me that I making all these claims about me and my content, I, I will use it as a learning opportunity for you and others. I was really nice and not really nice. I was, I was, I was pretty good in that video. Anyways, don't play the victim. Don't gaslight others. Just because someone says that you're wrong and shares information that you don't like does not mean that it's negative or that they're hateful or a bully or anything like that. It means that you are experiencing cognitive dissonance. If facts get you real upset, you should probably figure that out. Okay? Okay. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, night, weekend. Whenever you're watching this, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, do not go seek out these people. Don't do that. Keep it in my comment section. Go buck wild in there if you want. I do not condone that, please. Okay? Start a conversation on a fire. You're the best. You're pretty. Look at your butt in those pants. Who are we kidding? You're not wearing pants. 
what else do I want to say? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, this video is done. Goodbye. I'll see you on my next one. Have a great day. Bye.